Hi, this is Mike with uh, Kenny Ikenik Bees. Um, just wanted to uh, go over real quick um, some fencing options, uh, or at least what we ended up doing. There's lots of choices out there, lots of options. Um, we ended up going a uh, electrified little fence, and this is just for a small um, little colony or colonies of six hives uh, right by our house. We ended up setting it up um, to more or less keep some bears out of there. We've had bears come across our property. You can see we kind of live in a rural area. Um, but just uh, wanted to walk you through what we ended up doing a couple weekends ago. And um, hope you enjoy the video. So this is our uh, bee setup, or our hive location setup. And uh, we ended up, I had a bunch of extra stuff. So almost all this stuff I had just laying around um, with the exception of the um, electrified rope there. Um, but we ended up just picking that up at like Fleet Farm or Menards or actually I think it's Fleet Farm we ended up getting it. But um, we're gonna, we don't have power down here. Um, and I know they make some fencers that uh, have little solar panels on them. You know, I think they sell for like $150, $200. Um, but I actually had this one laying around and thought it would look kind of cool. So it's a little art slash practical piece there but we still got to put the fencer in which I have in our chicken coop right now um, we got to pull it out of there we don't have chickens right now but made up this little gate here same thing out of some steel I had laying around so gotta get a latch on there but I've got a platform in here we plan on installing a second one over here um, with the hopes of having up to six hives working in here this is in the middle of a prairie that has pretty much nothing but uh native prairie flowers so we're hoping that we got some good uh, nectar pollen flow out of here so um i'm inside the fence right now um we've got like i say a little platform right here um, we're hoping to get three hives in here we're going to start with three so we're going to start the bees here and then eventually, maybe even later today, it's so nice out, um, start up a second platform over there. Not sure if these platforms are going to work or not. They're a little bit bigger than the hive itself. Uh, we'll see. I might have to end up lifting them up from there as well, hopefully without too high of a hive so we can still work it. But I uh, really wanted to talk, I guess, about the fence. Um, it'd be interesting to see what other people's... Um, results have been with their fencing. We've got some of the poultry fencing, which we've used around our turkeys and our chickens in the past. Uh, but being that we're down here in the um, uh, native flower prairie, I guess you'd call it, I was worried about the entanglement and trying to maintain the netting itself. Where here, I feel like we can just zip right underneath uh, that bottom line there and weed whack and, and prevent any weeds from getting up into the actual electrified portion of the, the fence itself. So so we're going to end up using the solar panel right here. It's um, set up to just gather uh, plenty of energy for what we're going to be using them for. In fact, I was joking with a friend, maybe I'll put an outlet down here to make some margaritas. But um, we'll uh, end up putting a J box right here. Um, you know, the wires from the panels will come down there. And we'll go into that J-Box, uh, which will contain the battery, the charge controller, load diverter, and the fencer itself. Um, and then we'll end up having some clips that come out and connect to these uh, splicers. Um, and I end up, we'll probably end up just putting some sort of electrical connection to go right around um, this nut here so we got a good connection. Uh, hope to do that in the next couple days. Bees are supposed to come in, in a week. Um, so it would be nice to have this all set up for that. Um, and once that's done, I'll, I'll post another video. Just kind of showing what we ended up doing. But, um, yeah, this is uh, our setup. So um, feel free to post some comments down below. Um, once again, this you know this is a little bit of an experiment uh, that we're doing, um, and we recognize that there's lots of different ways to do things. So we're not saying this is the way to do it, uh, but we're giving it a try, and hopefully 
everyone can learn along with us. Um, and if you haven't subscribed already, click down below to subscribe to our video. Thanks.